spiritual significance of flowers part 1 each variety of flower according to the mother has its own special quality and meaning during her lifetime she gave names or significances to 898 flowers in the book the spiritual significance of flowers the flowers are arranged as per their significances thematically in 12 chapters and are grouped together and placed in a sequence that develops the chapter's theme along with the quotations from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the mother accompany many significances as an aid to understand them better the mother a divine mother was born in paris in 1878 The mother studied painting at the Academy Julian and became an accomplished artist. In 1914 she met the Indian mystic Sri Aurobindo in Pondicherry, India, where she settled permanently in 1920. She was the head of Sri Aurobindo Ashram. for nearly 50 years from its founding in 1926 until her passing in 1973 during this period she also started a school the sri aurobindo international center of education in 1952 and an international township oroville in 1968 Publishers note Flowers speak to us when we know how to listen to them the mother said It is a subtle and fragrant language as if to provide a key to this language she identified the significances of almost 900 flowers In this book these flowers and their meanings are presented in the light of her vision and experience. The book consists of two separately bound parts. Part 1 the text and the photographs is arranged thematically on the basis of the mother's flower significances. In each of the 12 chapters flowers of related significance are grouped together these groups are then placed in a sequence that develops the theme of the chapter 
the organization of the chapters is outlined in the contents for each flower in part one the details of the mother's significance on her comment on the significance the botanical name and the color or the colors of the flowers are mentioned and a relevant quotation from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the mother accompany many flower significances as an aid to understand them better. Part 2 is a reference containing indexes, glossaries and descriptions of the flowers and any other information. of the significances question sweet mother when flowers are brought to you how do you give them a significance for this our mother says by entering into contact with the nature of the flower its inner truth then one knows what it represents next question Sweet mother, how do you give a significance to a flower? For this mother says, by entering into contact with it and giving a meaning more or less precise to what I feel. Next question. Sweet mother, each flower has its own significance, doesn't it? For this mother says, not as we understand it mentally. There is a mental projection when one gives a precise significance to a flower. A flower does not have the equivalent of a mental consciousness. It is rather like the moment of a little baby, neither a sensation nor a feeling but something of both. It is a spontaneous moment, a very special vibration. Well, if one is in contact with this vibration, if one feels it, one receives an impression which may be translated by a thought. This is how I give a significance to flowers and plants. There is a kind of identification with the vibration, a perception of the quality it represents, and gradually through a kind of approximation, sometimes it comes suddenly, occasionally it does take time. There is a convergence of these vibrations which are of a vital emotional order and the vibration of mental thought. And if there is sufficient accord, has a direct perception of what the plant may signify. These are the golden words of our Divine Mother in the book The Spiritual Significance of the Flowers.